We have learned that the resignation of Jeff Lacker is the result of negotiations with law enforcement officials. We can't say anything more about the status of that legal case regarding this leak, uh, which involved Medley Global Advisors and Fed Action back in 2012. We do know that his resignation, which was immediate, was negotiated as uh, with law enforcement officials. We also have a statement from the Richmond Federal Reserve, which suggests maybe it was something more or different from resignation. Once our bank's board of directors learned of the outcome of the government investigations, they took appropriate actions. Unclear from the statement what actions exactly were taken. We also know who is replacing Jeffrey Lacker. It is first vice president at the Richmond Fed, Mark Mullinex, as well. Finally, I want to get to one point here, which is exactly what is in question here with Richmond Fed President Jeff Lacker. He is not saying in the statement he put out that he directly confirmed it. He said that he, uh, the report mentioned the move the Fed was likely to take. And then he says here, um, let me just find it, I should have declined to comment and perhaps have ended the call. I realize that my failure to comment on this information could have been taken by the analyst dot, 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 as an acknowledgment or confirmation of the information. So um, there is the possibility the reporter either knew it from another source uh, or had made up a number or heard something, and then perhaps lack of silence or continued conversation is what confirmed it. I guess the point I'm making is he did not directly say he confirmed the information in question here, but he does say he failed to disclose it. He failed to disclose it to the general counsel. And then it's unclear, again, what what he told in an investigation that involved the United States uh, Attorney for the Southern District, as well as the FBI and the Inspector General of the Federal Reserve. Melissa? Okay. Is, yeah, go ahead. Well, I mean, uh, one of the questions that I would have is, you know, if he made some sort of, I don't want to say deal, but deal with, with uh, officials in terms of his resignation, that that implies perhaps he has some sort of immunity or maybe cooperating on another front. He may have heard in the course of this conversation, and this is all speculation, I want to be clear. Right. He heard, heard in the course of this conversation who that source was and didn't say no comment, didn't uh, confirm it, didn't, you know, do the things he should have done. Well, what, what it also says, Melissa, is that he should have reported this communication uh, uh, and, and failed to do that as well. So that seems to be uh, a certain direct violation. And then later on, he says that in the interview, uh, he did not uh, uh, disclose this to the general counsel that he had that communication when I'm assuming he was directly asked uh, that he had that communication with the analysts and Medley Global but, Advisors. But Steve, you and I both used to work in Florida, which means we both used to cover crime by definition. The and most it, insane crime, yes. Right, yeah. And my, my memory of those times is when you talk about this is part of a negotiation with law enforcement, right. to Melissa's point, I'm going to step down and as a result... A, B, or C may not happen. You may, you may not get prosecuted, or if you are, a right. sentence will be lesser than what it would have been otherwise. That kind I, of thing. I would we don't say, know that. I would say but... that's a reasonable uh, uh, extension there of that notion that he did negotiate this departure, or his departure was part of a negotiation. Well, we gotta, but, we ha but we do and have we, to be ahead, very Judge careful Ryan. here, though, right? I mean, because Lacker is not are. the one who leaked the information to Medley Global Advisors. Right, and, and the, just to the be medley, clear. That's, and that's the crime. The Medley it, Global Advisors analyst. If I analyst could full stop you there, Brian, yep. it may not be that any information was leaked at all. Let's say. You right. were a reporter, which you are, and you said you heard that maybe the Fed is going to come out, or, or you reasoned that the Fed would come out with some stimulus, and you said, well, what about $45 billion? And, 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 the, and the other guy on this didn't say anything. And is that confirmation? And the guy kept going, and you can have that, that understanding that the, 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 the silence or the failure to, uh, uh, to, to, to redirect in that regard or to correct in that regard is seen as confirmation. That's the impression I'm getting from this, but I have to say this is a carefully worded statement here to the point of being uh, uh, kind of confusing. From Mr. Lacker. Yes, statement. exactly, Tyler. Is, right. is the one you're talking about right. here. So there, there could have been a leak or there could not have been a, a leak. It could have been a smart analyst taking a surmise, but what Mr. Lacker apparently didn't do was tell the people at the Fed the next day or that afternoon that he may have tacitly right. acknowledged. And it looks to me worse, Tyler, that it was later on when and the later general on, counsel uh, talked to him. And then, and then what's even worse here is, or potentially worse here, is what happened in 2015, when, again, he doesn't come straight out and say what happened in that discussion there with the, uh, uh, it says as part of the investigation, unclear who he's talking to, but as part of an investigation opened by the FBI in the United States District uh, uh, Attorney. Likely into Southern how District. this Medley advisor analyst yeah. received extremely specific information.
I mean, that, that's what we can surmise from the reporting so far. This medley person had some really detailed information yeah. in the Fed that Lacker should have said, I don't know where you got that. I can't confirm anything. But to your point, by just kind of maybe nodding or being numb, he sort of implied. So uh, all right. what's, what's weird about all this, Brian, is to come to the conclusion that was come to did not take a whole lot of insider information, that the idea that the Fed was going to do something at that meeting, the journal speculated on that a week before, and my recollection is I did too. Uh, they were a bit more specific and, and talked with a bit more certainty about it, which is what raised everybody's, got everybody's attention to the matter. But the notion of additional stimulus from the Fed at that meeting, my recollection is, was not a huge leap of faith. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.